Hi, I'm David, and we are here with... Marcus Murray, security consultant from Sweden. Hassan uh, Ashikardi, colleague to Marcus. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of sessions do you guys have going on here at Tekken? Uh, we have really cool sessions because they're about how hackers break into systems and how to protect yourself. So it's more or less like demonstrations exactly how they do it so that you really can get the awareness and know where to start to create solutions that really work. So it's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, and of course, trying to point out why, how can you protect yourself, which, what kind of features you can use in Windows Server 2008, Vista, and so on, and just to build more robust security and, and protective systems against this kind of hacking and stuff like that. So. So, so what can an IT pro do? So, I mean, of course there's the user side of things, but the, but the IT pro guy, what, what are some, some main tips that you give to that guy? I mean, it's, it's a really hard question because we do a lot of penetration testing. That's a big thing what we do at work every day. So we go to different companies, we try to break into the systems, and eventually try to like, compromise the entire domain or IT infrastructure. And many of them are just so it's so bad out there. So they need to do like 10 steps that would be major projects. And you can't really sell that to them because it's going to be politics, too much money. It's a time consuming thing that might run over five years. So we need to sell like, okay, let's talk about the first step. Break that into comprehensible projects. So it would be like a checklist of you need to start by getting new software, new operating systems like Windows Vista 2008 because they have the security functionality that works today. So that's like step number one. Start looking to that. Then start to take control of your environment. You need to be able to centrally manage your environment. If it like works, if it's in the wild, you can't control it. So start by getting control, a homogeneous environments, things like that. When you have that in place, we can start to add security services on top of that, like role-based hardening, patch management that really works. Don't only, don't only patch the Microsoft stuff, patch the third-party stuff as well. It's really important. And so we go step by step like that. And usually that's good. And Microsoft has a lot of good guides and stuff, but people don't use them that much. Yeah, I, I mean, it might sound that much, and. It might sound, oh, oh, how should I be able to fix that? It's so many things. And uh, just go to the download site, Microsoft.com slash downloads, and just there are many step-by-step -step guides and uh, different kind of security guides and tools available just for the IT Pro. Uh, there are many shows and recordings. I mean, all the things going here it's, are it's available open. online. So you just you can just do it on your own and, and achieve that uh, higher level of awareness and security. So, so how is Microsoft really doing with security? So completely unbiased, unfiltered opinion. I know you're here at Tech and I, I know I'm Microsoft, but, but really, like, where would you say we're, we're really strong and where do you think you know, we have areas for improvement? You don't suck anymore. Okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's good. That's right. <laughs> so it's getting increasingly better. The focus is right. It really is. But I still think as a, as a consumer or IT pro, I think that you should... You should really be able to demand a secure surfing experience. I think that's where a lot of bad things are happening today also. So there are some things. I, th I think the browsing and the interaction with the Internet should be better isolated, better... I mean, there's a lot of work to do there. And I know the IE team and those people are, are doing a lot of work. It's still not good enough from a customer perspective. So that's, that's one area to change it. Another, another area, and I realize Microsoft is going in the right direction, is that Today, you can actually create a very secure implementation, client security, interacting with the web or being on the web and interacting with your company. But you need to add a lot of features, like first you need to set up some secure VPN stuff, and then you need IPsec and domain isolation and this and that. So even as an end user, first I need to, okay, I'm on this network now, now I need to do VPN, then I can do this and that. It should be like completely transparent. It shouldn't matter if I'm on the web or I'm on the, on the internal network. So that's something Microsoft needs to work on. Like you should have like certificate-based mutual authentication, good encryption, end-to-end -end from the client wherever he is so that he can authenticate to the domain controller or whatever. And then it would, shouldn't matter if, if he wants to be updated. It should be automatically, whether or not he's in Thailand or at the office. 
if he's on the web, that update server should be in contact with him in a secure fashion wherever he is as soon as he's online. So I think we're moving to a world where those, those firewall concepts and the internal and external are really, I mean, they're gone already by using VPN, but it's still too much difficulty to get that good user experience and that dynamic uh, interaction we want. So that's something Microsoft should really do. Okay. Yeah, I, I think with the new systems we've received today, I mean, uh, we have Windows Vista and Windows 2008 server, uh, we have to give them some time to settle down and just figure out what all different functions we, we have in our hands and how to deal with them, how to set up everything uh, the most proper way just to gain the major benefits of, of different functions and different combinations. So, uh, I think we need to give both Microsoft and, and the user community or IT Pro community uh, some more time just to be able to figure out what the product is actually giving them. But I would like to say that I actually don't know if I like to say this because it's kind of fun to be in a like hate relationship with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. But I think even though there are a lot of things Microsoft needs to do, I think today they are best in class. But it, it only means that the other vendors should be way better and Microsoft should be a little better. So, I mean, you're doing a great job, but we're not there yet. It's such an immature technology. So, and I know you have. Even though you're a huge company, you have limited resources. We talk to the teams. I sit in with a sit in with the AD team in um, in Redmond a few months ago, and you you talk about this, and you realize that even though you're a big company, there are a few select people working on this particular function, and they need to interact with everybody else. It's, it's a process. And they have this list of things they need to do first. So I understand it's, it's going to take some time to get there, and I understand you're trying. Yeah, well, I think I think we can definitely. Um make it happen a bit faster. Uh, I just encourage everybody to take contact with the product teams. They are very uh, communicable. Uh, so, you, so you can just send them emails or uh, take a look at their blogs. Or, 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 uh, or watch a TechNet Edge video yeah, and comment course. on it, right? Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's like and the number one thing, right? right. Ju just give them your opinion, your suggestions, and I think they, they listen very much. There's another thing I would like to promote. Since you brought in Mark Rusinovich, which was probably one of the smartest thing you ever did from the IT Pro perspective, since he's like a living god for us. But in Win Internals, he had this great tool looking at software execution control and the way things interact in memory and stuff. And I think that is a great technology. I think that sometimes Microsoft is such a big company. Maybe you missed the fact that you bought that product and you're not really taking advantage of the intelligence that's down there. I think that kind of stuff is the way of the future to protect the systems also. So more more whitelisting than everything, yeah. anything else. We have to control uh, the execution yeah. flow. Yeah. Just, it, I think it's much easier to know what's good than trying to figure out what's bad. Let's just, let's make that transition and just begin doing whitelisting in our systems. And I think we, we can overcome a whole bunch of problems with Trojans and malware and Yeah, that's like what that. we're talking yeah. about, but malware code. It's so easy to get malware code executed. I mean, you can make the user just run something, whatever. So that's where we need to be. Somewhere we, we can control what's going on on the system. And you have technology that is not mature, but it's in there. So it's yours. Use it. So, so, so another thing, like you know, and I don't know where this is at, but it's interesting to hear as a take on, you know, you hear, you used to hear anyway. Linux is more secure, right? Yeah. Linux is more secure, and, and Windows is, is not secure. What, what are you guys' take on security, you know, Linux, Unix side of things versus like Windows? It's kind of fun, because we used to think that too, back mm -hmm. in the days when it was, like, from my personal perspective, the, the right thing to say. But when people say that today, they don't know what's going on on the Microsoft side. They just don't. It's just a fact. I mean, I, I w if they want to say it, it's okay. but. They don't get any respect unless they can really tell me what's going on there at Microsoft, what functions are in the systems. Because they are talking about, you know, things that happened 10 years ago, or maybe more. I, I just say take a look at any vulnerability database site or something like that, security focus or anything similar. I just compare the number of vulnerabilities published for different operating systems. Microsoft is doing a very good job on, on, on those applications, pre-bundled with operating system. And, and, Things. Uh, just look at 